Yep, that's good. All right. My personal paradise comprises three things. The first thing is, it always has to be hot. This means in winter or in summer, it should be always warm. I want to be able to go outside. There's no rain, the sun is shining. I can just go to the park and relax. The second key thing is, it has to be by the beach. Obviously, hotness and being by the beach combined, going to the beach, surfing, this is one of my favorite hobbies, being able to surf. I wasn't able to do that in the past few years because I've never lived by the beach. But I hope as soon as I live in my personal paradise, I will be able to do that. And the third thing is, it needs to be in a huge city. Atlanta is just about the right size. Anything smaller doesn't work for me. Therefore, there are only a few cities that actually fit into these categories. Mostly those other southern cities, you have Miami, LA, Honolulu. There are not many other countries where you have that. Maybe in Australia, you have Sydney. This leads me to the conclusion that I want to live in a city that fulfills all these three conditions. And I'll have to choose wisely since there are not many to choose from. You had zero um errors. Your strong transitions, of course, were in between each ideas, first, second, third. And between each of those, you had but, therefore, and in conclusion. Yeah, in conclusion is definitely a great buzzword to use. Hmm. Any other pros, guys? Did you have time? One minute, 23 seconds. Time. Yeah. OK. Very nice. This is perfect. Then we shoot for about a minute and a half, so great on time. How would you say Gabriel's eye contact was? What do you think, Jeremiah? You seem pretty good. I mean, you, you scanned the audience, which I, I noticed particularly. You did take time to make sure you start down at as Waldo and myself, because a lot of times we're forgotten up front. Hmm. So say eye contact was strong. I would also say you, your body movement, uh, it was right on by dividing the room to thirds. And you ended in the middle, which was great. Uh, what do we think <laughs> about, did Gabriel stand enough at a point, or did he move too much? What do we think about that? It was good movement. It was good movement? Okay. Area of improvement since you're going such an you're doing well is to use your pause more for emphasis, not for coming for your next thought. So you can actually strategically use your pauses. Yeah, I can do what? Strategically use your pauses. So place your pauses at specific place. Uh, depend on your content. Yeah. So that way you can let the audience focus on what you just said. Mm -hmm. I, and I would also say for an area of improvement uh, is read off of what Jeremiah, my brother, said. Kind of with the speed of delivery. I felt like it was kind of constant for the most part. It was, you know, a good storytelling tone. But just like what JMI said, if you have those pauses there, it would really change the tempo. And there's one more uh, thing that I noticed was when you're moving in between, make sure that your, your front always faces the audience. Because when you walked back toward the wall, your body shifted from doing this to what Zwina did last week, which was face and your chest against the wall. Right. And, you're, and you're looking like this, but it's a little distracting. So make sure you always keep yourself facing the audience. Right. But for the most part, I would say it was uh, solid eye contact, right? You did divide the room with thirds. And uh, we, we didn't comment on hand gestures. Yes, yeah, that's easier. Mm -hmm. OK, with hand gestures, I think they were solid, but I think that you mostly use subtle hand gestures, right? So again, feel free to when you're talking about, there aren't many places like these, right? So there aren't many, I mean, feel free to do it big as well. So you want to make sure of dramatic gestures, but you also want subtle within your body. So feel free to vary those too. Now the body movement, I thought you, in the beginning especially, you made a purposeful attempt to move here, I think when you changed your uh, paragraph, right? So that's great. Again, it helped me focus your thoughts and your ideas, but make sure that the movement is always purposeful and not random. So. Do you understand the key takeaways, Gabriel? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, make sure, I mean, going off what Shijin said, make sure you synchronize what you say with your pauses, but also with your body movement. Good job, though, for it. Nice. <laughs>